Hello everyone, welcome to Add Creative AI. On this video, I'm gonna be showing you Creative Utility Suite, which has a lot of different AI models together to help you solve whatever that creative issue that you have in one of your upcoming projects. Basically, Creative Utility Suite is a combination of background remover, image upscaler AI, fa face enhancer AI, text reader AI, and there's a lot of upcoming features that are coming in matter of days at this point, not even weeks. Alt Painter AI, where it's gonna allow you to alt paint any image, Detail Enhancer AI, Object Highlighter, Blur Background, and there's a lot of different models that are coming, such as in painting as well. So let's directly, I wanna keep this video short. I just wanted to show you this feature. Um, and let's directly go to Background Remover AI, and I'll just make some real examples. So let's say that you have some kind of photo of, um, of a, a bag that I took here as an example, that as you can see, there's different products aside. The background doesn't look that good because some kind of a, you know, studio photo shoots, but you, you need it without the background. And what background remover AI does is that it took that photo, it re it removes the background using AI, it first identifies the product and then removes the background and it gives you this high resolution remove background PNG file. So you can take this file, use it in whatever other project that you have. And again, keep in mind that Creative Utility Suite is extremely, so Creative Utility Suite is first of all is completely free, which basically means that you don't use any credits, you don't use anything. So if you have professional or plus features or add at Creative AI, you have unlimited access to this feature. So if you're paying alongside another tool to remove backgrounds, etc., you can cancel them all. You can start using add Creative AI for all your creative needs. So background removal AI, you can download this image right away and it's gonna give you a, a background remove high resolution file. And as you can see that project created here. So if in the future, for some reason you've lost the creative or you need that exact creative, you can just come back to that project and download that visual right away. The second one is an image upscaler AI. So this probably happened to you. So this, let's give a product example. Let's say that you took a, some kind of a photo of your product, but the photo, I don't know, something happened with your phone, the resolution is low. Or let's say that you have a project where you, you found a great stock image, but the problem is that the resolution of the stock image is a bit low and you're like, wow, what am I gonna do now? That's when Image Upscaler AI comes in. So I found this uh, beautiful photo from somebody called Esra. I found this on Pixels, free stock images. The left image is 640 pixels to 900 something. And you're gonna see that we're gonna double that resolution using AI. The image on the right side is gonna be way more crisp. And I wanna show you something that is extremely special about that Creative AI. 99.9% .9 of the upscaler models out there actually messes up the text. The texts are basically not readable after the upscale process. On this example, you can see that the right side, there's absolutely no issues at all. We not only we make the image extremely crisp, we like very high resolution. Also, the texts are readable as well. What I wanna do is that I wanna show you very fast um, how that would look like in real. So what I'm gonna do is that I'm gonna download this. So let's give it a second. Let's put it right here. And then I'll take my finder just to show you the example of how that creative actually looks like. So let's go ahead and check that image together. So this was the image from SRI. As you can see, it's a very low resolution. Even the preview opens it in a very small way. And let's go to the high resolution of them. As you can see, it's 4.4 megabyte. The texts are readable. There's absolutely nothing wrong with the text. And the, again, the image of the initial image, if you check it, 133 kilobyte, it's 640 pixel to 960. And if you go to the newly generated one, you're gonna see that it's actually double the resolution. So it made it full HD. And on top of that, uh, it's four megabytes with very crispy details. So that's our image upscaler AI. Um, let's continue. The third one, one of my favorite ones. So there is two use cases of this. This is called face enhancer AI. There is two reasons for this. Number one is that you have some kind of a family photo. You have some kind of photo shoot that you've done in the past. The faces are not super clear. You can actually use this to make that photo face super clear, or it's a very new problem, a problem of 2024. You generated a beautiful looking stock image 
but the faces of that stock image generated by AI is a bit weird because you know that some of the AI models. So if you generate this stock image at that creative AI, we absolutely have no issues with that. That being said, let's say that you generated an image on another platform. Face is not super beautiful. It's not looking good. What you can do is that you can actually bring it here and we are going to enhance that face that was kind of like not looking good because AI couldn't generate it. So I made a good example there. AI generated stock image. Let's select that. As you can see, the face is super weird here. Again, pretty much every face generated on this AI generated image is the details are super bad. It's not looking that good. Um, clearly, like you cannot use this in any of your projects. I mean, if any of your projects doesn't require such a high inputs, that's okay. But in many cases, if you put this on your LinkedIn, on your social media, on your advertising campaigns, not only they are not going to perform well, but on top of not performing well, a lot of people are going to write a lot of bad comments, etc. So what this feature does is that there's an object detection first. There, so there's two different AI models. The number one is object detection that detects all the faces in the given image. And the second one is an in-painting model that focuses on each faces and does up to 30 steps rendering for each face, which basically means that the faces may slightly change. Of course, that's absolutely normal because it has to imagine what a normal face of that person would look like. That being said, it's going to solve almost all the problems. So if you, for example, check this face super bad again super bad even the glasses are not bad good and if you check it glasses are amazing faces are amazing there's absolutely no big distortions so if you see that that looks way better than whatever happened with the ai here so that's face enhancer ai again if you have a stock image generated by ai or it's a very old image where you really want to bring the quality back to those faces because you need it for your project there you use face enhancer ai Let's continue. Let's go to the last one. The last one is basically text to speech AI. So that's our text reader AI. So let's directly make an example, add creative AI. So let's say add creative AI is the number one most used AI platform for. So of course it's for advertising, but let's say that I made a mistake, a grammatical mistake, and I wrote to advertising. There is a small brain icon. One of the things that I use a lot because you know, English is not my my native language. So what I'm going to do is that I'm going to click on correct grammar and you're going to see that it's going to change that two to four. So that's number one. You know, don't make grammatical mistakes while we are in 2024. There is AI. There's so many different models to check that. And the second thing is that let's say that you have this, but you want to change that to completely another language to so Spanish, Italian, Dutch, whatever. There's so many different languages here. You can also do that. But for the sake of this example, I'm going to be done with this and I'm going to select different models. So the AI models that are going to be basically reading. So let's just listen one or two. Hello and welcome to Add Creative AI. Looks good. Let's go to the second one. Hello and welcome to Add Creative AI. I'm good with Benjamin. Looks amazing. I'm going to generate. And in just a matter of seconds, what it's going to do is that it's going to read this text and it's going to be ready. So let's give it a look. AdCreative.ai is the number one most used AI platform for advertising. Looks amazing. Let's say that, uh, you know what? I think Diana would be better actually for this. No problem. You click on generate and we're going to also give you that for with Diana as well. AdCreative.ai is the number one most used AI platform for advertising. That's it. And that feature text reader AI is great for any type of social media advertising, etc. type of project. If you need some kind of voiceover, AI generated voiceovers, use Ad Creative AI. Again, whatever I showed you within this video today, if you have a professional or more plans at Ad Creative AI, it's completely free. You're not paying anything extra for this feature. We don't want you to have so many different tools. We understand that for a business, that's extremely important not to pay 500 tools. So Ad Creative AI is already the number one most used AI tool, but it's becoming the that all-in-one tool for your advertising and marketing needs. And that's also one of the steps moving to that goal. So that's it. There's a lot of different models coming. Again, Outpainter AI is, I think, live in literally two to three days from this video, but I really wanted to make this video. Basically, let's say that you have some kind of an image, but you want a bigger version of, not bigger version of it, but let's say that you have a, you need a zoom out version of that. So the great example would be if there's a chef and chef is cooking, but you want 
the see the left side of that kitchen you would upload it and it would out paint whatever location you want to unpaint detail enhancer is super similar to face enhancer you have some kind of an old stock image with low resolution that doesn't look good etc what we're gonna do is that without changing the the resolution or the ratio we are gonna go add details by adding and fixing those pixels object highlighter is gonna highlight any object such as a product Blur background is going to take your product, understand what it is and blur the background or that could be a person or any other project, etc. And one of my favorite ones that are coming, if I'm not mistaken, it's around end of August in the pipeline is that um, you're going to be able to in-paint anything. So let's say that there is some kind of a lion photo and you could just draw... I don't know, a small area of the, 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 the mouth of the lion and you can say add pepper and it's kind of the pepper inside the lion's uh, face. So this is a model that we've been training for some time. It's completely ready to go. We're building the front end and the back end and I believe that at the end of August, Creative Utility Suite is going to be one of your most favorite products within that Creative AI. So that's it. If you haven't signed up to add Creative AI, we have seven days free trial, 10 free credits. It's absolutely free. Go try and not only it's free, it's unlimited during the seven days. You can remove as much backgrounds as you want, scale as many images as you want, fix as many faces as you want. It's absolutely free. You don't even use a one credit. And for the rest of your 10 credits, you can go generate ad creative, score your competitors and track your competitors. There's so much to that at Creative AI. So if you haven't signed up, seven days free trial, go try it. And I'm pretty sure that you're going to be one of those users that are going to literally, there's a lot of users of ad creative ad that says as soon as they pay the yearly plan, the first ad paid for the yearly plan. And I think you'll be the next user who's going to write that great review. And I'll see you on the next video.